Hello and welcome to another GML breakdown for our general manager only league. I am your host, Coach Winovis, one of the leadership team in GML and the current coach of the GML New Orleans Saints. Uh, so today we're going to walk through an important part of our offseason, and that is the offseason regimen program spending setup. Um, you may have noticed uh, during the season we do uh, threads for every team. Uh, and those threads include currently a copy of the ORP form and the number of points you have. Now, the number of points you have can be found on the 50% signing sheet for that particular season. Uh, I will show ours as part of this demonstration, but do be aware this changes from year to year. So always use the sheet that you have for that current season uh, to verify that you have it, if you have any issues as far as your ORP is concerned. So let me bring up our sheets right now and we're going to start here looking at the ORP form. Okay now what I want to do is I want to bring up our 50% signing sheet for this current season that we just ended uh, and as you can see I have just the teams that are currently available that we have users for with total ORP. I've done little modifications to this uh, sheet to make it easier for you guys to, to grasp what's going on. Uh, I've essentially taken the number of ORP you got for your restricted free agents. <clears throat> I've created a, a link or a column, excuse me, for any articles that were done this past season. Because for every article, you do get a ORP point in GML. And then for every time a scheduling was done properly, meaning you set up and you streamed your games... I gave you credit for it. Now, I gave everybody credit for the full season's worth of games that were here for the full season's worth of games. Uh, so everybody got 18 points except for the Bengals who came in at the, about the halfway to uh, end of the that past season. Uh, so I only gave them five or six points. I gave them five points to be precise. So uh, that's where your scheduling points come from. Every week that you stream a game properly uh, by by GML standards, you do get ORP points for that, so do be aware of that. If you need a link to the 50% signing sheet, do remember that it is under uh, the custom command slash GML 50%. Uh, so that's where you can get that to get the GML's 50% signing, signing sheet. That's hard to say. Uh, so that's where you can find that information. Now from there, there's a couple other documents you will need to have open. Uh, to fill out ORP forms. The main one that you'll want to have open, obviously other than the ORP form, which is now currently on your screen, the other one you'll want to have open is the actual off-season regimen program because that's going to tie in very importantly uh, to what you'll have to fill out. Now, I'm going to fill out a couple of fake forms uh, for you on camera, so do be aware of that uh, as I, I come back on screen temporarily. I'm going to fill out a couple of forms as a team that's not currently have does not currently have a user to A, make it easier for us to figure it out because I have already filled out my forms of the Saints uh, and I want to show you that at the end to show you how you want to post anything you do uh, with what you do with your ORP points. So bringing them back up and let's see here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, they break down into three different tiers at this time. Uh, tier one is everything you do in tier one is worth two points and that is player skill focus training which is any one of these attributes can increase one point or player trait focus training which allows you to adjust one rank left or right as shown below so like with quarterback sense pressure if the quarterback is paranoid you can take them to trigger happy if they're trigger happy you can take them to either paranoid or ideal if they're ideal, you can take them to either trigger happy or average. If they are average, you can take them to either oblivious or ideal. Be aware this is not cyclical in nature. Uh, what that means is if you are paranoid, you cannot go to oblivious. There are two extremes on the far left and far right, or in this case, the far left and the far right as camera looks. Uh, they're on the far left and far right of each other, and they are not a loop which means that if you are paranoid, you cannot jump to oblivious. And likewise, you cannot go from oblivious to paranoid. I don't know why anybody would. Most of the time, people try to go from paranoid to oblivious. That is not allowed. You have to go up the track as it is shown on the page. Uh, so again, if you are paranoid and you want to take them all the way to oblivious, you can do so. 
but it will cost you two points per move. So paranoid to trigger happy is two points. Trigger happy to ideal is another two points. Ideal to average is another two points. That's six. And then eight, actually, I said ten to eight to go from paranoid to oblivious, two points per step. And there are four steps total. Same thing with quarterback decision making. Conservative, ideal, or aggressive. If you are conservative, you cannot immediately jump to aggressive. If you are, if you are aggressive, you cannot immediately jump to conservative. You must go in line towards what you want to go for. You can go backwards. So you can go right to left or left to right, but you cannot loop from one end to the other, if that makes any sense. Aggressive catching, no to yes. Rat catching, no to yes. Uh, actually, there is one that's missing. Uh, possession catch, no to yes. So that's something I need to add to the form. So be aware of that. That is also two points as well. Covers the ball, again, same type of track. It's got to go up the track as, as normal. Penalty tendency, undisciplined, normal, or disciplined. Play ball for defenders, conservative, balanced, or aggressive. So again, if you start at one extreme, you cannot move to the other side of the extreme end. So if you are undisciplined, you cannot spend two points and take yourself immediately to discipline because you're going the other way around. You have to go from discipline, undisciplined to normal, and then from normal to disciplined, okay? And that's all you can do with the Tier 2, or Tier 1 uh, program, excuse me. So now that I've gone over Tier 1 and the basics of it, uh, what I want to do is I'm going to fill out a form right now for you. Let me make sure it's up on screen. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to fill out as the, uh, the Bears, because the Bears have nobody on their squad, or I don't have a user, I should say. Uh, I'm going to use a Tier 1 form. Now, be aware that when you hit this next, it does list two points there. So you know exactly what you're spending as far as in this Tier 1 category. And if you come here, you have your choice of either player skill focus training, player trait focus training. That's why I suggest having this document open because as you can see, these are your two options, the two main bullets under Tier 1, player skill focus training, player trait focus training. And I'll show you what each one of those looks like in kind. If I choose player skill focus training, I will hit next. And then what is the position I'm modifying? Uh, let's go with wide receiver. What is the player's name? Please spell this as close as you can to correct. Uh, we will do some a little bit of lifting as far as figuring out what player it is. But if you don't put like a full name, especially like, uh, for example, if you just put like a Pierce and you have multiple Pierces on the squad, uh, they this may get ignored. So please, please, please make sure you put full name uh, and spell it to the best of your ability. I'm not expecting you to be perfect in spelling, but at least be close enough to where we can see what it is. And then simply, what skill do you want to improve? And all the skills that are represented in that chart are represented here. So as you can see, I, see, I can scroll through this. I can pick one. So I'm a wide receiver, so I'm probably going to look for uh, medium route running or deep route running, which is right here. So MRR, DRR, SRR. If you need to know all these breakdowns, I strongly suggest looking at something involving Madden breakdowns as far as what the shortened forms of these are. Uh, I hope they're all self-explanatory, but I do not explain them. So if you're not sure what these mean, uh, probably would be best to hop on the game and try and figure it out. Uh, look on the game for those shortcuts because most of these correspond to Madden-based shortcuts. So you'll fill out medium route running plus one and that's two points spent you spent two points so that's two points of your allotted points whatever that may be i'll do the other one because obviously now i can submit another response i'm going to and i'm gonna submit as the bears and i'm gonna submit another tier one <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna do player trait focus training i will add in possession catch so do be aware of that going forward uh i'm just gonna stick with uh, I'm going to stick with DJ Moore, even though he may not be on the team at this point. I'm not sure. I'm just doing this as an example piece. What trade are you modifying? I want to I want to modify possession catch. I don't know if he has it or not. Uh, actually, there it is. It's on the list. Uh, what is the current setting? You do have to pick it. And obviously, there's a listing for every type of thing. So make sure you pick the right one. No. What do you wish to be change it to? Make sure it's accurate. Specifically for if you're changing from like... Uh, conservative, you got to change it to normal or balanced, one or the other. Make sure you change it to the correct thing in game 
uh, so that way we get it right in the game. So let me change this back to no. So no to yes, and then submit. And there you go. You have now spent four points of ORP. That It's as easy as that. So you will need to keep track of the forms you submit for each one, because right now I've submitted two Tier 1 forms, and each one of those is two points apiece. So I'm up to four of my allotted points, which, since I'm a fictional team right now, a uh, team that's not uh, usered in game. I don't have any ORP, so I'm just kind of going through this just to show you the process. Now, coming back in, let's go and look at tier two, <clears throat> which each one of these is worth five points apiece. Advanced trait focus. You can go big hitter, no to yes. Strips ball, no to yes. Finesse moves, no to yes. Power moves, no to yes, which essentially means bull rush or swim move. Power moves equals bull rush. Finesse moves equals swim move. Uh, high motor, no to yes. Fights for extra yards, no to yes. These are, uh, the reason these are five point traits is that these are traits that are deemed a little bit more uh, extreme. I feel like these are traits that you should have a certain minimum value to have in the game to begin with, but Madden doesn't restrict that. Uh, so to make it a little more fair, these particular attributes or these particular traits, excuse me, are ones that do cost you more ORP points to modify them. Um, so as we go back in, note these are all no to yeses. So obviously this is not going to be a complicated setup. You'll just choose which one. You'll choose what value it is, which most of the time it will be no. And then we will make it, you will make it check yes. And then we'll go in and we'll spend the points to get it up and going. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this next part because this next part is where it gets a little dicey. Uh, this is one that can cause a little bit of confusion. Oh, as I click on the wrong thing. This is one that can cause a little bit of confusion, but I want to go over it. Basically what we have is we are simulating, essentially working with a position coach in the off season. <clears throat> now, each position has specific attributes that it will increase by one point. So if you remember, as I come back on screen, if you remember tier one was two points and you could up one attribute, one point. For five points of ORP, you can up five attributes, one point, but you don't get to pick them. That's why that's why it's it's so valuable yet restricted is because you do not get to pick what type of values you get for those five points. They are a preset set of attributes that are most effective for that position as deemed by a committee that worked this up before we got started. So do be aware this has already been kind of play tested through and kind of shown to work. Uh, so that's why these attributes are set the way they are. Now, that being said, here's what you can do. At quarterback, for five points, you can up short, medium, and deep accuracy, one point, throw under pressure, one point, play action, one point. So for five points, each of those five attributes goes up one point. It is not a substitution-based system. It's either all or nothing. If you don't want it, don't spend the points. If you do want it, spend the five points, and we will up those attributes one point apiece. Halfback, break, tackle, catch, carry, short route running, and juke. This is to kind of uh, signify how important the running back is in the all-around game, including the receiving game. Fullback, lead block, impact block, run block, catch and carry. Wide receiver, short, medium, deep route, catch and catch in traffic. Tight end, run block, catch, short route running, spectacular catch and impact block. And now we get into some interesting ones because you will see some that involve what we call premium attributes. Those are the ones that are denoted with an asterisk by them. I'll highlight them as I pass them. O-line pass focus gets you all the pass attributes, awareness, and agility, which is the one I'm highlighting here. It's a premium attribute. Run focus, RBK, RBF, RBP, the run blocking attributes, awareness, and strength. Again, that is our, that is our premium attribute here. Defensive line, you can only take this if you're defensive end or defensive tackle. You can take either pass rush or run stuff. If you take pass rush, you get power moves, finesse moves, impact block, uh, play recognition, and acceleration. Note the asterisk on acceleration. And with run stuff, you get play recognition, block shed, impact block, awareness, and strength. Note the star, the asterisk on strength. Linebacker, you get three choices. You get pass rush, coverage, or run stuff, depending off your 3-4 edge player or if you're maybe just a coverage guy. Uh, pass rush, you get power moves, finesse moves, impact block, PRC, play recognition, and acceleration. 
in coverage, you get zone, man, play recognition, catch, and awareness. And then with linebacker run stuff, you get block shed, awareness, play recognition, impact block, and strength. Cornerbacks get man coverage, zone coverage, press, play recognition, and catch. Zone coverage, play recognition, catch, awareness, and tackle for free safety. And for zone uh, strong safety, ZCV, PRC, uh, tackle, hit power is actually one that's a premium attribute, and man coverage. Now I'm going to really quickly take your take your eyes down here. Anything that's denoted with an asterisk means that the rule of 92 is in place. It's a rule we designated uh, way back when, when WFL first started in Madden 15 and 16. Uh, the rule of 92 is real simple. Any premium-based attribute, and these are essentially speed, agility, acceleration, strength, hit power, throw power, and kick power. Those are our premium attributes because those can really affect how a player performs on the field, whether usered or not. Uh, so those are considered premium attributes. And the rule of 92 simply states, if an attribute is at 92 and you are allowed to, or you choose something that attempts to bump it up past 92, that bump up doesn't take effect. We do not modify any premium attributes above 92 overall. We will take it to 92 overall, but we will not take it above 92 overall. So keep that in mind when you spend points. Because like for example, I know this is going to be a rough example because I'm having to say it. Uh, I have a defensive tackle on my Saints named Trey Weathers. He was a rookie last year. He's a big 3-4 nose tackle style. That's why I changed defenses in the offseason. He's going to be a plugger nose tackle. I could take, and I'll bring it up just to show you, uh, I could have taken the defensive line run stuff right here, which ups PRC, it ups block shed, it ups uh, impact block awareness, and it ups strength, but I chose not to. And the reason for that is real simple. Trey Weather's strength is 94. If I take that ability, if I take that tier two and use it, four of those abilities will get added just fine. But the fifth one, strength, will get lost because I cannot up an attribute past 92, and it's already past 92, so I definitely can't do anything with it. So rather than waste that point, I spent elsewhere on other players uh, to help them out. So just be aware of that. Anything you see that's denoted with an asterisk, the rule of 92 applies, and that's the rule I just stated it. Hopefully you understand it. If you have any questions, Please feel free to ask, but do be aware that rule of 92 is ironclad and not being changed. So don't ask to change it and don't ask to go above 92 with us modifying. Now, if you get something in game, like a skill point that takes you above 92, that is okay. So do be aware of that. That's okay. But us modifying it, a leadership modifying it beyond 92 will never happen. And if it does, that leadership member will be gone. That's as simple as that. We're not taking anything manually above 92 if it's a premium attribute. Now, if it's a regular attribute, like if it's carry, if it's catch, if it's short route running, we will take those all the way to 99. But we will not take any premium attributes above 92 with manual edits. It will never happen under my watch. It will never happen, period, as long as I am involved in this league. So... Just be aware of that. That's kind of one of my sticklers, my pet peeves, uh, because those attributes make players insanely powerful, especially speed. So to curtail that, that's where our limits are. Um, so just to explain our position on that one. Uh, but otherwise, you can modify these players. Essentially, you spend five ORP points. You pick a player. You pick their position. Now, it does have to be their position. You cannot have a free safety take cornerback classes, for example. A free safety does free safety things. If you fill out a form for a position that your player is not, that form will be ignored. So do be aware of that. You have to spin for the position you are playing, not for another position. So if you want to make a free safety a better strong, like do some strong safety drills, at this time that's not allowed. If you want a cornerback to do free safety drills or a free safety to do cornerback drills, not allowed. If you want a linebacker to do defensive line uh, drills, that's not allowed right now. 
So do be aware of that. If you set up any form where you choose a position coach and the player you choose is not at that position or not at that eligible position, the form will be ignored and your points won't get spent. So just to let you know, a heads up on that one. Now, that is Tier 2 in a nutshell. So when I go into our ORP form, I'll submit another response. And this one I'm not going to go as detailed into. Bears, Tier 2. I'll go in. And what am I looking to purchase? Advanced trait focus or position coach work. I will just bounce back and forth through these, so be aware of that. Next, what is the position? So we're going to go wide receiver. We're going to go DJ Moore again. Again, I am not sure if this player is even on the Bears at this point. Which trait are you modifying? Note, that's all you have to do is just pick one of these, and essentially the no will become a yes. It is assumed that you have a no on all of these plays. So... Let's say we're going to give DJ more high motor, and boom, you just spend five points. So that's five plus two plus two. So that's nine points we've spent so far this offseason. And remember, we're limited by how many points we have. For example, my Saints have 38 right now, which sounds like a lot, but when you start getting into tier three, it spins quick. Or if you spend a lot of tier twos, because five points a piece, you spend four of those, that's 20 points. So ORP can spend a lot quicker than you think. Um, so let's go in and submit another response. Let's do the Bears again. Uh, let's do Tier 2 again. And let's go through and let's choose Position Coach Work because then now you can see exactly what we're talking about. So right here, all the listings have all the stuff we just talked about and all the stars are appropriate except for one uh, that I called earlier. Hit Power is one for Strong Safety. That is under the Rule of 92. Uh, so do be aware of that. I'll correct that on the form here in a little bit. But all of this is choosable, so you pick one. Oh, you type a player's name. Uh, he's been retired for quite a while, so I'm going to put Charles Tillman, Peanut Tillman, if you're not familiar. Uh, he was a former cornerback for the Bears like uh, eight or nine years ago, so this is very old news. Uh, but submit, boom, done. Now he's improved. And that is five more points I've spent. So I'm five, 10, 12, 14. I'm at 14 points right now. Two tier twos and two tier ones. Now let's get to the big boys, the tier threes. So let me bring that up real quick. Tier three. So you have three under this program. So three, you have three off-season regimen programs in tier three. The first one is the workout program. You get to get plus five at two of the following attributes: injury, toughness, stamina. Please note, this is the only off-season program that we have currently that will allow you to upgrade your injury, your stamina, or your toughness. These are special attributes that aren't even premium, and this is the only way to modify them. So if you have a guy that has an injury issue, this is the way to do it. And you must choose two of the three to get plus five. Now, normally, normally this breaks some of our rules, which I'll go over here now, as far as our attribute upgrade program, which you need to know as part of this because some of this could be pertinent for you. The GML attribute upgrade program. This is where we list our uh, premium attributes and our non-premium attributes. I missed some actually. Change of direction is one uh, and jump is one. I did forget about jump. I forgot about COD as well. Change of direction. And the following attributes can only be improved by one particular off-season regimen program and that's the one we just talked about but we'll get back to it in a sec because this is important for modifying your players because we do have rules as far as premium attributes can be modified a maximum of two points per offseason using incentive plans up to a maximum of 92. That means that the Rush to 92 program, which we'll talk about here in a second, you can up one attribute, two points, and that's as far as it can go for premium. So you can't double up on it and stack it and make it four points. So like if you have like, say, an 86 speed guy, you can use our Rush to 92 program to take him from 86 to 88, but you cannot use the Rush to 92 program a second time to take him from 88 to 90. That is not allowed by our rules. Two points per premium attribute per offseason. That is it. That's the limit. The next limit we have, non-premium attributes can be upgraded to a maximum of three points per offseason using regimens or incentive programs unless the regimen program allows it. This is where the toughness one comes into play because the toughness one specifically adds five so that's more than three 
to any one attribute that normally can't be touched. And it's also adding a total of 10 points to your player, which means that this next rule is also broken. No single player can have more than eight attribute points of all types modified in a single off season. So simply what this means, as I bring back the regimen programs here, if you take the workout program regimen, which spoilers I have done on one of my players. In fact, it's the player I just drafted. Uh, he has a 75 injury and that scares me to death because he's also a really, 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 really good strong safety. I would like him to be alive to the end of the season. So I have used the off-season workout program to up his injury and his toughness five points because they are both in the 70s and I'd like to get them at least into the 80s or close to the 80s. Um, unfortunately, I think injury is going to be right at 80 and I think toughness is 79 or 80 or 81. It's, it's, it's going to be bad if he gets hurt, basically. Um, but the point of it is, is that that particular player can get no other off-season programs. They are now dead in the water because they've exceeded eight points and adding more to eight is just going to break the rule further. So that player is now locked in on injury and toughness. That's all he got this offseason. Anything else is just going to be improved in game with skill points. Woohoo! So there you go. Um, the next attribute, rush to 92, increase one of the following attributes plus two. And it is all our premium attributes. This is the only way to up premium attributes in our current system. Okay? In, the, in the, our other league, in WFL, we have incentives that allow you to do certain things. In this league, we do not have incentives. We do not have the ownership to support it right now. If we get more full ownership and get more leadership in, then we will add that in as we, as we can. But right now, we do not have incentives for this league other than ORP for writing articles and whatnot. We do not have incentives. Uh, so the only way you can up premium attributes is using that program. And it costs you 10 ORP per use. And you can only use it one player at a time per offseason. So it is a restriction and it is expensive depending on how many points you have. But it is a usable thing to up certain attributes. And do remember that limit of 92. So if you have a player with 91 in something, don't, don't use the Rush to 92 program if they have 91 in something. Because all you're going to do is uh sorry my controller disconnected on my playstation uh all you're going to do with that is you're going to simply have issues as far as you're going to get one point out of it for spending 10 orp make sure you max out your value on that if you're trying to up something with 91 value uh, be aware that once it hits 92 we're stopping we're not adding any more beyond 92 uh, so do take that into account with the rush to 92 program that's why it's called the rush to 92 program 92 is where it stops and then finally, the last one, which again, breaks our rules. Above and beyond, increase one of the following plus four points. And it's all non-premium attributes. So for 10 points, you can choose one value and it goes up four points when normally it would be capped at three. So as you can see, all those 10 pointers are very, very valuable uh, depending on what you want to do with your player, but they do cost as a result. Uh, so essentially, when you go to fill out a tier three form, you will do like this. For me, I'm submitting another response, and here we go again, we're the bears again. Uh, we're gonna use a tier three, and again, it's gonna say tier three, 10 points. I didn't mention that for tier two, saying five points, but do remember, you have to keep track of all this addition. Which program are you purchasing? Rush to 92. Um, let's go with wide receiver. Let's go with DJ Moore. And I know he was faster than 92 speed. I'm pretty sure it's a jilly. So let's just, I would not do this for reals, but I, let's just show do strength plus two. And then essentially, boom, it's done. And that's 10 points spent. So we've already spent 10 in tier two with two programs. We spent four points total in tier one. So that's 14 plus the 10 we just spent is 24 points. We are now smoking through our points. But as you can see, I'm going to go through. I'm going to do one one more. I'm probably just going to try and show this one off more. I know I said that for Tier 2. Um, Rush to 92 workout program. So if you choose that one, uh, you choose the position as normal. You choose the player's name, whatever that may be. Uh, Charles Tillman, just to, just to kind of simplify, although he was a cornerback back in his day. So boom. Uh, choose, one to choose two or three to increase. Make sure you choose only two. Because if you choose three, you can choose three. 
But be aware if we see three on the on the final response, we're going to ignore the entire form. If we only see one, we'll ignore the entire form. Be sure you pick two on the dot. And it says right there, picking more or less than two will void this entry. So that means we will ignore it. So now I'm going to back up. I'm not going to submit that one. And I'm going to go to the above and beyond. And the above and beyond is going to be very similar. Let's go wide receiver. Let's go DJ Moore one more time. And what skill would you like to improve? Uh, I would like to improve ball carrier vision plus four. Submit. And there's my 10 points spent for that. So I have spent a total of 20 in tier three. I've spent a total of 10 in tier two. I've spent a total of four in tier one, which means I've spent a total of 34 points. So now what do I do? What do I do with all that knowledge? What do I do with all that stuff? Well, I'll show you. Let me go in here. See if I can get it to pull up. <laughs> Give me just a second here to get that pulled up. Okay, sorry for the delay on that. I had to do some adjustments on OBS, so do forgive me on that one. All right, so now I am currently in Saints uh, ORP forums, and everybody has about the same setup. Essentially, you have a link to the forum. Uh, you have basically all you have to do is you have to state how many forms were filled out and how many points were spent. So uh, the Saints filled out, and by the way, this is now my Saints now. This is not. Uh, this is not my actual, like the, the, the example ones I was doing for you. This is actually my team now. So let me, uh, let me actually remember how many I filled out. I filled them out this morning, unfortunately. Oh, look, we got some folks that have filled out stuff. And, and, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I filled out nine forms. Let's see, we got... Uh, we got one, two, three. We got four tier ones, four tier one forms, uh, four tier two forms, I do believe. I think that's right. Yep. And one tier three form. Make sure I'm still showing up on screen. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, doing this on the fly. For a total of 38 points spent. And that's it. That's all I have to do. And then what I'll do is tag leadership one more time. I tag at leadership and everything to add them in. But once you have completed telling us how many forms you filled out, this is all you have to do. This is it. This is all you have to do. And then what we do on our end is we will go under the responses. We have an actual spreadsheet that's pulled up of everybody that's responded and what you've taken. And we have it organized in such a fashion that essentially as we go through and edit it we can basically remove it from our list so that way we know it's done and what we will do is once it is completed in game we will not only record it because that is part of the process we do record every edit we do in this regard we record it we're going to put a copy of the link to the recording in that thread we're going to put a check mark by the uh by where you filled out your forms and if there's any issue we will post there and link you back to make sure we get it right or make sure you've done it right. Uh, but everything will be communicated in there and once it's finalized, we will close that thread and we'll be done. And that's it. That is all there is to it. So for your end of it, as an owner, fill out the forms, have those other sheets open and handy. If you look in our Help and Rules channel, uh, there's a link to custom commands. Use that to get those links to the attribute upgrade program as far as how we do attribute upgrades and to the off-season regimen program so you can have that list handy so you can kind of use it as a quick reference while you're doing the form. Uh, and then the form itself. Uh, again, it's fairly easy. It's fairly straightforward. It shouldn't be much into it. The, the only complicated part of it for you guys is going to be making sure that the name of the player that you put in is correct to the best of your ability. Uh, that's going to be the one hang up, but I have confidence that you guys can handle it. It's as error free and dummy proof as I can possibly make it. Uh, that's not to say that folks will still not mess up from time to time. WFL has the same problems, so I'm, I'm not I'm not criticizing anybody. This would be most everybody's first attempt at this uh, in this league, so we'll see how it rolls. I feel like it's going to go fairly smooth with only 12 of you. Uh, but once you get that posted and get those that information posted, we will begin the editing process. All of this needs to be done uh, before week one begins of the regular season. Uh, for that reason, we're going to be a little slower advancing, plus we have some guys out. I know uh, our Spanish guys are on long holiday for the Easter 
uh, celebration, I believe. Uh, so I've been told that. So we're going to try and lengthen this out a little bit. Uh, so we might have a little bit of a delay this week uh, in getting to week one in GML for season five. Uh, but I want to make sure everybody understands the ORP process to the best of their ability. And please, 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 if you do not know or still do not understand, please feel free to ask. I will do my best to explain it. Uh, I'll do my best to get with uh, Aragon, who's our kind of our Spanish uh, liaison uh, leader. Uh, to kind of make sure he understands the process so he can walk you guys that are uh, that are really trooping with us even though English is not your first language I do really really appreciate your your enthusiasm and and willingness to kind of work with us here uh, as we move forward so um, we will we will break it down the best we can we will make some leeway and alliance uh, uh, and 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 adjust how we need to uh, as far as deadlines and time frames uh, but normally, once we get this process down, it'll have to be done by week one uh, regular season start. So once we're in week one of the regular season, no more RRP forms will be used. No more RRP forms will be adjusted. Everything's already done, and we move on to the new season. Uh, hopefully, this has been a clear and concise, even though it's a little bit long, uh, 36 minutes at this point. Uh, but hopefully, it's clear and concise, and hopefully, it will help you understand the ORP process in GML and uh, get those forms filled out as quick as possible. Thank you for your time as always. I am Winovis, one of the leadership team here in GML and coach of the New Orleans Saints here in GML. Uh, this has been a GML breakdown on the ORP offseason process. Thank you for your time as always, guys, and have a good one.